Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we finally got a new trailer, and it's for Happy Chaos. Sorry all your biking lovers, but Happy Chaos is pretty cool too. Let's just watch the trailer first together, and then we'll go over all the itty bitty little things we see in it. <laughs> There's also got tr clips from the next story mode we're gonna get soon. And oh my god, this theme. I'll just shut up. Bro, that theme sounds so cool. I can't wait to hear the full thing. And like, oh, definitely shades of Elfelt, but in a way, cooler way. <laughs> With all these clones he puts up, it seems like they just act as like shields. I don't know if they can do anything more than that. But all of his like, unwielding stuff is so strange and unique. He just reloaded there, we get to see he has ammo later on. Like, what, yeah, six bullets. One of his ultimates looks pretty damn cool. now another ultimate. I wonder if that's the same ultimate. Or, actually no, that's probably totally gonna be a different ultimate, right? Because it he's doing it from full screen. So, that's Happy Chaos. I'm pretty sure we're getting him on the 30th? Yeah, yeah, the 30th. Hell yeah. For people that already have the ultimate pass, or just the DLC pass. Season pass, whatever. But damn. That's only 15 days away, and we're gonna get the, the starter's guide for him in like a week or so. So, yeah, finally, finally we're getting new character stuff. So, let's talk about all of the little, little stuff we see. Obviously, he looks awesome. Wait, let's just... <laughs> he's such a strange and unique character. He has, I guess he's not too strange for, you know, Guilty Gear Universe. Like, we have had Batman. But he's just so cool looking. Like, the Joker of the universe. But also, like, a god. <laughs> Now the gunslinging is something that I wasn't expecting to be a huge part of his moveset, but it seems like it's like the main thing, and it's pretty damn interesting looking. So, if we go back to the very first frame we see of this sequence. So he seems like he's in a stance here where he has these, um, symbols, uh, the aiming symbols up on the corner. I'm just gonna put this on to half speed so we can watch it more. And I haven't, don't know enough about Elfelt in... X-Rev 2 and stuff, to know if this is, like, a direct parallel to what she used to do, but, um, so it seems like, yeah, he's in a stand, so he's holding his gun out in his hand, and the, what the hell are those called? The aiming symbols, the, <laughs> the targets are on the opponent, while he's doing, like, his 2k, his, so he does a 2k, 2k, and then shoots the opponent, and then the target shrinks down and becomes a, a an orange target, and then it becomes a guard break from the two-hand gunshot. And then if it hits the opponent, it bounces them hella into the air, and he could even shoot them again if he wants to do it, use another bullet there, and just keep bouncing them in the air. So that's ridiculous, and I just honestly have no idea what it really is. Yeah, surely a stance or something. So he's holding the thing, and then every time he hits the opponent, and they're in hit stun. They have to go from wide to small, and they go from blue to orange. And then when they're not in hit stun, they're orange. And when they you hit them when they're orange, they have a massive guard break. Very interesting. And then he's got this clone that he can summon. So Nago is just out here doing some his attack, trying to stay safe. And then he tries to go in for Beyblade. We love seeing Beyblade get screwed. But yeah, Happy Chaos does this jump back into a clone, which I guess is kind of just gonna act like a shield, like a Sub-Zero clone in Mortal Kombat, except it doesn't freeze the opponent. But it seems like, yeah, it just absorbs their attack so that he can attack on his own and do his shots and stuff. So it seems like he's in that stance again here. And, you know, he's got the targets back up. He does a 5k. Shoot. And then shoot again. And he can walk while he's doing it and cancel while he's in the stance looking thing, into a grab. But look at that block string. Kick, shoot, shoot, 
And whoop, you thought I was going to shoot again? Nah, grab. Now surely there are obviously some gaps in there, but there's probably some mix-ups where he can do like two shots in a row to make that no gap, or he can do like more 5Ks or 2Ks or whatever. Like 5K shot, 5K shot, or shot shot into grab. And damn, that looks really interesting for a zoning tool that's like, you know, based off projectiles and using a gun, but it becomes like an advancing pressure tool. That is pretty awesome. I love stuff like that. So he does a clone again. So it seems like there's only one version of it. So he just summons a clone and jumps back. And I guess it goes into random poses because we see it go in like a flexing pose later on. But so yeah, he has the clone up. Kai tries to do his 5H for a 6H, but it kind of just gets absorbed. And we can't really tell because neither um, Nago's Beyblade nor Kai's H move actually hit the proper Happy Chaos. And I don't know if, like if the opponent's attack gets hit hits the clone, will it also hit Happy Chaos? Like, does it completely negate their attack? Kind of like, um... Damn, forgetting her name. Jacko's minions do? Like, when an opponent hits her minions, that kind of, like, sucks up their attack and you hit them instead of Happy Chaos. And then, But yeah, I imagine they will, and that's gonna be a really good way to just, like, blow through your opponent's attacks, like DPs or whatever. Just suck up the attack. And now look, he's got a roll! Milia who? And he can use it to get combos. So I imagine that was just his, um, yeah, that's his far slash into his heavy slash. So he did his orange shot. So the target was an orange. He blasted the opponent into the sky. Then he could cancel it into this barrel roll of his. So he's in the stance. He can cancel into the shots, into any special move he has, it seems, or into regular normals as well, like his 5k and his 2k. So then after he cancels into the roll after blasting the opponent into, into the air, he just does far slash, heavy slash, launches the opponent away, and then cancels into some kind of ultimate here, where he it's like a charge up, kind of like Jacko again. He does some kind of beef up, and obviously this is going to do something to his gun, right? Like either he gets infinite ammo, or he does tons of chip damage, or something's going to happen with the gun, surely. Or maybe the clones, maybe both, I don't know. Some kind of buff, because it doesn't actually hit the opponent. Oof. Sassy taunt. Okay, and here he just does a... What's that? Looks like a 2-H? Two, two or maybe it's just a 2-D, a sweep? Yeah, that's probably what that is. 2-D, it's a clone summon. So he jumps back, has this fourth field in front of him basically, where he's just flexing on the opponent. And you just get to suck up whatever they do, whatever attack they push into it, absorb it, and then he- Ah, oh. So here he's actually, yeah, reloading his gun. So he's just standing there, and then he starts this reload animation, and- oh, Christ. <laughs> so you see, he takes out the gun, launches the thing onto the ground, puts in the new six bullets, and then boom, starts shooting. <laughs> Shooting from the behind the clone, too, so the opponent has to either jump over the clone or, like, attack through it. Now, here is an interesting thing, because we actually get to see the UI and stuff. We get to see, look, his little character icon in the top left looks so freaking cool. Look at that. We also get to see he has his own meter. In maybe two meters? So he has the meter for the bullets. And also a blue meter that seems to be affected by the bullets as well. I'm not sure if it's also going to be tied to all of his special moves, like his clones and stuff, but um, there's a lot happening here. So first, we see Happy Chaos, he's in his gun stance, he's shooting bullets at Mei, and Mei backdashes as he shoots, and you can see it has a little puff of smoke where it was going to hit. So you can dodge the projectile, so like when he clicks whatever button it is to shoot, to shoot the projectile, that is stuck in that position, it doesn't keep tracking the opponent, so you can dodge it either by backdashing or I presume jumping as well would probably get over it. And then they just timed out. So you can dodge his projectiles, and also we're seeing that each time he fires a bullet, he uses one of his six bullets that's in his bullet inventory in the bottom left there. And also, every time he shoots a bullet, he uses a little bit of this blue meter that he has, but you can see the blue meter isn't directly correlated to the amount of bullets that he has, because he's got half bullets now, and definitely not half of his blue. So, yeah. 
that's kind of interesting. I'm not sh really sure what that is. Well, I mean, we don't really get to see much. But is that going to charge up over time and give him more bullets if he doesn't want to reload them manually? Or is the blue meter just connected to making his bullets stronger or something? Or is it just connected to all of his special moves, like his clone summon as well as all of his projectile tosses, and then they just become really bad when he has no meter? Or they just can't... Like, he just can't do them? I'm, I'm really not sure. And maybe they just get a special property when he's got it charged up all the way. Like, he gets a reward for not shooting projectiles for a decent amount of time. Like, it charges all the way up to that heart with a mouth in it. And maybe that's when he gets his orange explosive projectiles. I'm not sure. His time-up animation is pretty cool, though. Just shooting the timer. <laughs> so, this is another one of his ultimates. Actually, this might be the one that we see last as well when he goes in to activate it. But you can see, you know, poor Faust just tried to do a Scarecrow mix-up. But Happy Chaos has already started his super activation, right? Okay, oh, yeah, wait. Okay, so we get to see the start of the animation. Wait, let's click frame by frame. So we've got a zoom in on him. And then it zooms out and then does the ultimate activation. Okay, so it's an animated ultimate. And, yep, poor Faust is sitting there, right where he does whatever the hell this ultimate is, breaks the wall, and because he's in the corner, we can't tell if this is the full screen ultimate he does last. Like, I wonder if he's shooting bullets full screen, or maybe it's just, like, big barrage of explosions in front of him. And poor Faust just gets massacred and lost through that wall. And here we see Axel trying to go for his full screen command grab, but it misses because Happy Chaos has already activated his ultimate. So he's got his invincibility. Wait, this is a different scene. So, oh no. No, he just backdashed. You can see the end of his backdash animation there. Then he just goes into the close up from activating his ultimate. Just like Nogoro Yuki does. Or, um, you know, Jacko. Characters with cool cinematic ultimates. We get a cool pan of his gun going up, getting ready to shoot, and we don't see the whole animation. We just see him, like, getting ready. Yeah, I have a feeling this is definitely... I was gonna... People are curious whether he has three ultimates, because we got to see the charge up ultimate, and the ultimate that launched Faust through the wall, and also this one. But I'm pretty sure this one is the one that hit Faust, right? Like, he's holding the two guns, he's getting ready to release some kind of barrage. Surely he just does that massive, like, ridiculous barrage of explosions and things, but they actually just go full screen, and it's kind of like, um, Eno's ultimate, you know, with her ridiculous <laughs> hearts and stuff that she launches full screen. I have a feeling like that's what the Chaos was just doing to Faust, and he's gonna do it to Axel again, but do it from full screen. <laughs> Which would match... You know, the playstyle of the gunslinger. But, um, that's Happy Chaos. People seem pretty happy with him. Coming out, wait, what? Yeah. Coming out on the 30th. And then later on, beginning the extended story mode. And Rufamonger actually has a short video up to showing the crowd response to Happy Chaos being revealed. So people seem pretty happy with his ad. Even though most people are hoping for Baiken, I think people are pretty excited. Wait, wait till you hear the cheers. Uh, yeah, yeah. People are liking Happy Chaos, right? Right? He seems pretty popular. People kind of freaked out as well when they saw him, um... Do the, like, Elfelt stuff. People are like, oh god! I don't know whether those are cheers of happiness or cheers of, like, oh crap. But, um, yeah, I think... Everyone seems to be pretty pumped of how he's looking. I love how the intro of him has him on the same side as the opponent and has to walk awkwardly to get into the proper position. Yeah, just making him as chaotic as possible. Even his intro is wrong and weird. Where was that? So he's walking in. Then Souls do it walking in, doing his badass walk. And he's like, oh, oops, sorry. Wrong side. I'll get over here. <laughs> just screwing everything up. Makes sense. Edgy Gunslinger is finally available. A 
opening for a slice of life anime. Yeah, the song is pretty ridiculous. I'm feeling like it's gonna be like Ram Lethal's, who like starts really weird and like left field and kind of strange for a Guilty Gear song, but then like it ends up getting, you know, hard rock. He's like Jacko, but Elfel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. I can already sense the low tier inside of him. What? Oh, that's a good point. Strange how the entire trailer he never jumps or does an aerial attack. Here I am wondering if he's a heavy movement restricted character, or they just didn't decide to show that off. Yeah. And I don't think we even saw him dash. So yeah, we didn't see him do any jump attacks, or anything from the air, or dash. Hmm. I didn't even pick that up. Astute observation, Akarite. Yeah, woohoo. I'm in so much love right now. <laughs> I've watched this so many times. Yeah, people people are pretty pumped about Happy Chaos. Some people are a little bit triggered that there's no biking. Happy Chaos is a good second place. Add some drama to this game. Hell yeah. I wonder if he has a unique intro for every character. Like, this won't work on Narco, Geo, and Leo. Oh, but for the second intro for those characters, they just have regular standing there attacks. Like, everyone has their cool flashy one, and then their second player one. His design, so cool. He's so amazing, I'm in love. Yeah, okay, everyone loves Happy Chaos. He seems pretty awesome, and his moveset looks hella unique. Um, or especially for, you know, Strive. There's nothing like him in Strive at the moment. But, uh, yeah, I guess now we just wait for the starter guide so we can get even more pumped about him because he's looking pretty damn good. Anyways, thanks for watching this <laughs> video. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll just keep sitting here and re-watching the trailer until the starter guide comes out. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one, and bye bye